Welcome back. Now that I've created my Opt10 configuration as shown here, I want to do a couple of things. I would like the drawing number when I'm showing the Opt10 part to have its own unique drawing number. And I want the machined surfaces, so these faces here, to have a unique color when I show this configuration. So first I want to deal with the drawing number. I can go File, Properties, and Configuration Specific and apply it to this configuration, or at any point I can right click on the configuration and I can go to its properties and I'll just open it back up to the window when I created it. I can do a couple of things. I can say use configuration specific color and then add a color. However, that's for the entire part in that configuration. I can also get to the custom properties from here. So I can go custom properties. So I'm going to type drawing number period. I could also choose it from the drop down list. I'm going to leave that. The type of property is a text. And I'd enter my new drawing number here, push enter. And now when I make a drawing of this, this should populate the drawing number field and I'll say, okay. And I can do that for each configuration. So here I'm gonna say, okay. And now at the bottom, I have what's called display states. I'm just gonna drag that up a bit. And I wanna add a new display state for this part. So I'm gonna right click on the display state and I'm gonna tell it to add one and I'm going to call this OP10 display state. So the OP10 display state is now selected. The OP10 part is selected. I'm going to select this face, come to the beach ball, drop down arrow and until I want to apply a color to this face. We'll give it a second. I'll choose this turquoise color. Whoops, turquoise. And I'm going to apply it to every feature or face that gets machined in this operation. So now it shows that for this operation, it's very clear by color what gets machined. That'll help my process plans. I'm also going to scroll down and I'm going to tell it I only want this color in this display state. And I'll say OK. So we're almost there, but not quite. If I switch to the default, it's still there. Switch to the OP5, we won't see it. And I switch back to the OP10, here we are. I have one more thing to do. I want to right click on the display state and I want to go to its properties. And here I want to say link the display state to the configuration. So I'll say OK. And now if I go back to the default, it goes to the default display state. I go to the OP10, I have the OP10 display state. And that's how I add color to my part for each configuration to highlight what features will get machined. 